Okay, folks, I do hope you're well. I really do. Right, it's a Sunday. We're passing a what time are we on now? We're getting up to one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to record this. Uh, just a, a bit of a news flash. Not a news flash, I can't think of a word. Just give you an itinerary, give you an idea what's coming out later today. I've got one, this will be out for about 1.30ish. I've got something coming out at about two o'clock for the racing followers amongst you. It's a plea, really. It's a bit, it's just quick scorers on the doors, but it's a plea for the uh, racing fans that sort of follow this channel. Uh, and then I've got the main messages coming out early. They'll start at probably, ooh, I think eight o'clock tonight, I think we're looking at. No, seven o'clock tonight. I'm going to have to record them later, folks. I've got all the family around today and the extended family. I've got loads around. We're doing dinner and whatever else, and I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I'm going to try and record a couple of messages now before they all start to get here in the droves. And then when they leave, I'm hopefully going to get uh, the bulk of the recording done and hopefully have everything out for 7 o'clock-ish. I'll start at 7. We're going to be 7 o'clock. We're going to start with something for Keith. I love it when one of the um, viewers asked me to cover a subject. I've been asking for it, oh... I was going to say 18 months now, the channel's only been going 10, so that, that's an impossibility. But a few months ago, I've asked that on a couple of occasions, and I think only once has anybody said to me, can you cover this subject? Maybe twice. It's not regular anyway. And I like it when somebody does, because I've often got nothing to say. And some will say, when well, I've got something to say, it's a load of crap anyway, but give me a subject and I'll, I'll have a go at it. Whether it's a load of crap or not, I'll have a go. Keith mentioned before um, something about footballers from the 70s. We're going to do that about 7 o'clock. Quarter past seven, I'm going to quickly run through my thoughts on last night's rugby league game, the Wigan Penrith, the World Club Challenge. Half past seven, we're going to look at a young lady called, I think she's, it's pronounced Ray, I'm pretty sure, but I might be wrong. Oh, 7.45, Peaky Blinders, eight o'clock, the Tenerife Food Wars. Somebody's asked me to cover something in Tenerife. I'm not really going to go into that at this moment in time, because I'm going to uh, alienate myself from a lot of people. Not that I worry about that, but... I don't want to get involved to, well, I do and I don't, and something that's really nothing to do with me. But then again, I follow all the channels, so I'm allowed an opinion. So I'm sort of going to get involved, but in a smallish way. Uh, and then again, at quarter past eight, a bit more rugby league, about three rugby league greats. And then half past eight, I'm looking at a quick review on the Man United Fulham game from yesterday, and my thoughts on it, and my thoughts on one player in particular. It's going to bookend things, because at seven o'clock, we're going to talk about entertainers and mavericks, but people who still put a shift in. And then at 8.30, we're going to talk about somebody that's supposed to be a superstar and doesn't like putting a shift in at all. If you follow football, you'll know who I'm talking about. Anyway, without any further ado, I'll get this one downloaded. This will be with you. What, what time? Probably about half one, as I say. Half one, quarter to two. And then for two o'clock, we'll have the uh, scores on the doors, which could be a quick video today, and a little plea to the racing watchers amongst yourselves. Okay, that's the way I'm going to roll today. <laughs> 